Jan Lacan, Lesic Joseph Serafino pen name, Jan Lacan, 13 March 1899 in Warsaw, Congress, Poland, Russian Empire, 8 June 1956 in New York City, was a Polish poet, literary and theater critic, diplomat, and co-founder of the Scamander Literary Movement and the Polish Institute of Arts and Sciences of America. Life Lekon studied the Polish language and literature at the University of Warsaw, by which point he had already authored two collections of poetry and a play. He was co-editor of Pro Art at Studio magazine. Lekon created the name Scamander for that literary group and delivered the opening speech at the group's first meeting on 6 December 1919. During the Polish-Soviet War 1919-21, he worked in the press office of Chief of State Joseph Pilsudski. Lacan was a member of the Picador Literary Cabaret, a member of the Polish Writers' Union, and Secretary General of the PN Club. In 1926-29, he edited the satirical magazine Cyrulik Warsawski, the Barber of Warsaw, named in reference to the Barber of Seville. In 1925, he received an award from the Polish Book Publishers Association, and in 1935, an award from the Polish Academy of Literature. In 1921, he attempted suicide and spent some time in hospitals or sanatoriums trying to overcome depression. A troubled homosexual affair influenced Lacan's decision to abandon Warsaw. From 1930 to 1939, he was a cultural attaché at the Polish Embassy in Paris. After the fall of France to Nazi Germany, he left for Brazil and later settled in New York City. There, he co-edited many Polish newspapers and magazines. In 1942, he co-founded the Polish Institute of Arts and Sciences of America. On the suggestion of a psychiatrist, Lacan started writing a diary 1949-56. Amid recondite autobiographical reminiscences, the diary also documents Lacan's attempts to come to terms with his homosexuality. Oppressed by a sense of emigre obsolescence and poetic sterility, unable to resolve the conflict between his programmatically traditionalist Polish public persona and the anxieties of an aging, impecunious homosexual in an America beset by McCarthyism, Lacan committed suicide on 8 June 1956 by jumping from the 12th floor of the Hudson Hotel. At the time, his motive for doing so was given as depression deepened by social degradation. The memoirs of Adam Sialkos point also to depression caused by the strengthening of the communist regime in Poland. In 1991, Lacan's remains were exhumed from Calvary Cemetery in Queens and transferred to a cemetery in Lasky, to a family tomb shared with his parents, W. Ladislaw and Maria Serafinowicz. Work Lekan made his literary debut at the age of 14 with poetry collections entitled Na Zlatim Palu, In a Golden Field, 1913, and Po Roznich Sees Catch on Different Paths, 1914. In 1916, his drama W. Palaku Stanislaw Augusta at the Palace of Stanislaw August premiered at the Old Orangery in Warsaw. His poetry collection S. Rivenai Tsarn Silver, and Black earned him an award from the Polish Book Publishers Association. However, growing interest in Lacan's work and his successes in the field of poetry had a negative influence on him. He found his status and fame overwhelming and did not publish further until the outbreak of World War Roman II. Poland's wartime demise awakened in him the passion to continue writing. He published Lutnia po Bekorku in 1942 and Area C. Curantum in 1945, as well as Marmor I. Rosa. His other works include Carmes Noe Poemet and Iliada. Lacan's poetry, which combined romantic and classicist elements, was different from that of other members of the Scamander group. He also translated several dramas, wrote reviews and essays. From Lacan's diaries, Mankind prospers in one of the falsest illusions that the world is run by wise people. This would be impossible, if only because most of mankind are mediocrities, if not outright stupid people. If we speak with a physician, say, about a writer, the physician is convinced that the writer is a good writer. 
We writers know that maybe 10% of writers are good, 